We've spent 50 million kina of Papua New Guinea government. Prime Minister O'Neill was asked about PNG's cash crisis and how the country was going to get through it. Mr. O'Neill said it is no secret that the decline in the global commodity prices will severely affect PNG's revenue base. He said PNG was readjusting government expenditure to live within its revenue means. When you talk about cash crisis, you're, you're thinking that we don't have enough uh, funds to pay for our bills. We are raising enough revenue through the taxes. We are increasing our efforts in the collections. We are certainly getting all our public savings to stay focused. Mr. O'Neill said the government was owed close to 2 billion kina in outstanding taxes. He said the tax office, customs, and all line agencies have been advised to collect revenue and stop wastage and redirect that money to consolidated revenue to fill the gap. Today, we are meeting our obligations. We are paying for school fees. We are paying for hospital uh, services that we provide. We are meeting the salaries for our public servants. We are meeting all the outstanding uh, obligations like uh, payments of loan repayments and interest repayments. Uh, we know that we have to raise up to two billion uh, kina uh, this financial year to, to meet the short uh, fall in the revenue estimates. The Prime Minister acknowledged that with the oil prices down, projected revenues will not be reached. But in managing the economy, the government is confident it will raise funds through the issuing of instruments like treasury bills through the central bank and by working closely with the financial institutions. Deli Waigeno, National MTV News.